You were doing some great work with the cenotaph, weren't you? So what, what was that? that? What were you doing there? So after the first major Palestinian rally, um, we realised that actually someone's got to do something because the police were letting the Palestinians clamber over all of our war memorials, vandalising them, spray painting them, um, trying to cover it up, but it did get out in the media. Like you had videos coming out of the police taking um, signs which had swastikas on off the Palestinians and saying, no, no, don't have that up. And people managed to record it and put it out there. It was incredibly worrying watching the police let the Palestinians smash them about central London, shoot fireworks at them. Again, we've been doing protests um, against Drag Queen Story Hour, as I mentioned, and other stuff. And we know if we set off a flare, we're going to get arrested because it's against the law. But yeah. the police bent over backwards to not arrest people breaking the law because they didn't want to be seen as bashing the Palestinians. But this isn't the Tommy Robinson football that thing. No, this was separate. So we were there before them. We were went down to the cenotaph on um, three occasions, and we formed a perimeter near it with the idea that by us protesting there with Union Jacks, the police then have to police us, and by policing us, they protect the cenotaph and Clever. do their job. Well, uh, what a sad state of affairs that I is. Know it is that you it? have to bring your own flag to a remembrance area in central London for the police then to keep a close eye on you to stop the agitators from actually destroying something. Because right-wingers are scarier than Palestinians for the police. So it's an interesting one. And we received all sorts of abuse. We had people throwing bottles at us, cans at us, um, police not doing anything, shooting fireworks. But what, 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 um, what are they doing then? They're literally doing nothing. Just stood there. We said, are you going to arrest them? Oh, it's too many of them. And they say, it's your fault. You've made us stand here. If you weren't standing here, we could go about our jobs. And it's like, well, no. Did they really? Not, yeah. And actually, at the end, when we, we had a police cordon around us um, and we were there for about three hours and that was when they had 100,000 in central London, so they kept coming. And we said to the police, right, we're going to go now, fine. I think we've proved our point. You guys are protecting this. This is fine. And I said, so we're going to go this way. He said, no, you can't all walk together. You've got to split in two different ways. Why? And he said, oh, for your own safety. And I said, but surely we'll be attacked. He said, oh, well, you're peaceful. You shouldn't have a problem, will you? Um, sort of smirking. And in the end, I told him, we're not doing that. We're all going to leave in one direction. And if the and, police want to come with you, that's probably best for you, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And then the police did end up relenting. I think he got a call from someone saying, no, you can't let them just walk off because there's going to be a big punch, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, and it was as we expected. As we were going, you had, um, do you know that mouthy guy who, um, the Palestinian guy, Goob Tube or whatever, who's been on Never Talk TV. Him. But yeah, someone who's very mouthy, shouted and stormed off interviews on tv he was there and he was riding up the crowd to attack us shouting abuse to us getting people to throw things at us but i assume but then the police i assume then the police arrested that guy yeah no no they, they didn't arrest any of them they only acted afterwards when we um put a clip up of one of them screaming white trash at us and they said they were going to investigate him for a racial hate crime but only after that went viral before but it works well the thing is they twist this into like portraying it as like you as they even said to you like you're the agitators here you're the problem but why but can't not... I hold my country's flag next exactly. to a war memorial in my in the country? Senate, in the Senate. Yeah. But it is portrayed that way, isn't it? That you're the agitator, you're causing the issue. Not the why, why Nazi are... flags going down with Israel next to exactly. it. Exactly. And we've got to ask, why is it that the flag of our country, the flag of the country these people are in, is like a red rag to a bull? Why do they get so angry when they see it? I think that's something which isn't often spoken about and talked about that these people do hate our country it's a combination of radical islamism and far left activism and your queers for palestine brigade who've cobbled together out of hatred for our country and this is what we see with everything it's seasonal 